Here in Calhoun County, bingo halls are legal if they follow certain requirements. 10% of what they make must go to charity and they must be approved by special commissions. But this amendment would add a new regulation. They could not be within 3,000 feet of a home. It started last spring when Big Hit Bingo began preparing to open up down the street from Thomas Farmer. Anywhere from three to 400 cars a day. Uh, we had uh, people sitting in front of the house in the middle of the night revving their engines, uh, slinging gravel. Big Hit Bingo opened in July for a few hours before the sheriff shut it down for improper paperwork. A big relief to people who live on this road. This is a private dead end road. There are six of us who live here. We are responsible for maintaining the road. Uh, the county has nothing to do with this road. The water lines are on this road. We take care of the actual maintenance of the road. We take care of. They say they aren't against bingo, but they moved to this area for peace and quiet. And they say a bingo hall is not. And they have to foot the bill for the extra traffic. Calhoun County voters told me they haven't made up their minds about how they'll vote, but they're glad it will be on the ballot. I guess the whole county should be able to vote. I mean, give everybody a chance to have a say in something. I think that uh, important issues should be brought, brought to a vote for the uh, citizens of the county to decide on. So does Thomas Farmer. It's a step in the right direction, yet we still have to worry about dealing with somebody prior to next year when it's voted on. So hopeful, but not very confident. And I reached out to a couple of bingo halls that are currently operating legally in Calhoun County, but I have not heard back about how this will affect them. In Calhoun County, Brittany Bivens, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. All right, thanks, Brittany. And the proposed constitutional amendment will likely appear on the June 2018 ballot.